Hey guys, how's it going? Building a um, page for a client and in the very early stages, one of the first things I do is go with the colors. So I know with, with him, we're doing a green, doing kind of a lot of earth tones green. So I have already dark green, dark gold. Now I did a gradient for the hero. So this lighter color in the palette, that's this. Basically, this is gonna be my light green. I wanna keep using this color. So how to make things very efficient and help the workflow is basically, I'm gonna just create a color style. So. On this light green clicked, I just go here in Framer, plus styles. This is gonna be light green. And just like that, now I got my three main colors. This one too. This is definitely, I wanna see if this is the same now. So this one, let's see. This 2B, is that 2B4522? Let's see, then if I go here. Now it's different. So what I'll do then is I'll make I'll do that and I'll make this dark green too. So yeah, so this gives a couple options. Here we got like light green. So this one right here, let's, let's make this, let's say lime green. Yeah, okay. Now I know to go with the green cause it's gonna be boring if it's just all different shades of green. So you want a bit of contrast with your tertiary card, tertiary color, which is, you know, you have your first, second color, which is, and then your third color. This is the color I'm gonna use for like CTA uh, banners and just mixing it up with certain sections. And so we have, we have our greens and I wanna get this tertiary color kind of, uh, I'm thinking like jungle book, very earthy, very, you know, nature-esque. So this is where the fun is playing around with it. So let's try this hex code. I like this color, this might work with green. So I wanna keep the one on the right the same. And here, let's, let's add this. Okay, so this might work. This is like, what is like a light taupe. Let's play around with this a bit. So I'll go in the light, dark, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll definitely need black text if we do that, or like that, that, that could be, hmm. Let's try this. Okay, I'm gonna make this a style. Like, let's say, let's say yellow taupe. Okay. And then this one on the left, let's try, let's do the same one. Now, this is just straight up beige. So beige, but let's go down like that. Hmm. that and then we go here now you know let's just keep it original so this one we'll just do ivory this is our ivory color okay and yeah so with this you see that's how i made the different color styles so now whenever let's say you know i want to change it let's say dark gold i want to make it all dark gold okay boom i don't even need to think about hex colors or you know get into that math or no no you know just picking stuff it's just already there so Framer does a really awesome job with just making your workflow optimized in this sense. There's another way of doing it for fonts. Uh, and then it's just basically, you're just in the beginning is the creative process of picking the colors and fonts. And then once you set it, you just make styles and that's it. That just saves a lot of time. And then I can just then focus on the structure, how I want it to be built out and then the copy and images. So yeah, that's how my workflow goes. And quick tip on setting color styles up in Framer.